Hello widgets a couple of days before i posted up a video over what is provider package and how can we use it into our flutter application to make our flutter application more cool after posting my previous video i got a dm on my instagram about how about a provider with authentication into firebase if you want something new about all of your doubts you can surely dm me on my instagram we shown up and i will be making a similar video just like this so in this video we are going to implement an authentication between email and password with flutter and our firebase now before jumping over the implementation i would like you to make a new account on firebase if you haven't got any account on firebase so once you have made your free account on firebase we can move under our config.yaml file and get the proper dependency the dependency shall be including for provider which is our state management tool and similarly for firebase core and firebase auth for the implementation of authentication between flutter and firebase now if you have get an all the dependency we are good to go so first thing first if i show to you my screens i have two screens which are home page and a landing page so under my home page it contains two text fields having two controllers of email controller and password controller and similarly a flat icon button so first thing first we can move under our services folder and create a new file for the provider package so here i can simply write authentication dot dart and under this file we need to implement a provider implementation between authentication so first of all i will be simply creating a new class which will be our base notifier so here i can simply write authentication to be our class name now to hover over all the functionalities by the provider package to us we need to extend our following authentication class with chain notifier after writing the chain notifier we will be headed up with notify the users now if you are new to the provider i recommend you to watch this video which is my previous video which contains all the basic explanation about how provider works so under our authentication class first of all we will simply get the instance of the firebase auth itself so here i can simply write a final firebase auth to be a private variable of firebase auth which will be equal to firebase auth dot instance and once we have gotten the instance of firebase auth we can create a new method for registering the user with our firebase and similarly signing the user with the current email and password into our firebase so here i can simply create a new future method so under our register with email and password method it will be simply taking two arguments which are string for email and similarly a string for password once we have returned the arguments we can make it this entire method to be asynchronous okay first thing first we will simply get the user credentials the user credentials are going to be user credential itself and the following user credentials are simply awaiting for firebase auth for creating a new user with email and password so here i can simply add create user with email and password and under this i can simply provide it an argument of email and similarly for password the argument of password now once we have done that after that we can simply get the firebase user to be a user and simply assign the following user credentials data to the following user all righty now you can see here the firebase user is depreciated that because of new update of the firebase so here instead of this we can simply write here user and it will be working up and ready now after this we shall be asserting whether our emails uid which is user id is empty or not so here i can simply write assert user dot uid should not be equal to null all right and after once everything is done we can start implementing our provider functionality first of all i will be simply creating a new string for the handling the email of the user so here i can simply write string email and we need to create a new getter for the following email so here i can simply write a getter in the form of string so here i will simply write get get email and the following get email getter is simply returning our email all right we can format document once and after this assertion we can simply say email shall be equal to the user dot email that is the user's email now you can also do one thing that is get other functionality of the following user that is after pressing dot you can get the display name email phone number and similarly all other things but for now we are good with email all righty now once everything is done we can simply notify all of our users so here i can simply write notify user and simply return the user id so for user id i will be simply checking if it is empty or not you can also do it the following thing with email but for a proper way i will be simply checking the user id so here i can simply write user id dot uid if it is null we will simply return a null thing else we can simply return user dot uid and accordingly we have created a new method for registering the user with email and password now the new method for signing with email and password is exactly the same so here i can simply copy this entire future method 
paste it one more time and simply change its name. So under this method, we can simply register the email with the user with the help of email and password by using sign in with email and password. Alrighty, now everything is going to be same. This is just a shortcut that you should be using in your Flutter projects. Alright, so here we have created our provider class which is authentication which extends a chain notifier. So we have created all the notifiers. So now let's start listening to them. So under my home page, here under our flat icon button, that is flat button dot icon, I have an on press method which is null for now. So first thing first, I can go up and here create a new instance for the user's email. So here I can simply create a new string to be email data or any sort of thing. And the following email data is going to be provider dot off. And between this, I can simply pass off our authentication class. So here I can simply get authentication. All right. And after that, we can simply get our email, which is our getter, which is get email. So after this, we need to create a shell method under our UI, which is our home page. So here I will be creating a new future method. So let's name it reach email or any sort of thing. It's totally depending on you. So under this, I can simply pass on a build context to be a context. So under this email, I can simply provide it a notification package from my base notifier class, which is authentication. So here under this method, I can simply grab the provider and from this provider for the following context, I will be passing on the authentication class. And after this authentication, first of all, I will be simply registering the user with email and password. And here in the place of email and password, I will be simply passing on the controllers. So here I can simply write email controller dot text and similarly for password, which is, yeah, you guess it, right? The password controller dot text. All right, give a semicolon here and format document once. So we have completed our reg registration email method. Now we can simply copy this one more time and paste it here. And now instead of this, we can simply say sign up email or any sort of thing. And here instead of this, I can simply say sign in with email and password. Now the following value of email and password are going to be the controllers itself. So format document once. Now we have completed all the methods which are necessary for registering our users. So first thing first, we will be simply registering our users. But before that, we can simply move under our main.dart file. So you need to configure your main method with the following code of line, which will be needing for initializing your Firebase app. And after that, we need to change our material app under a multiple provider for a provider package. So here, yeah, I can simply refactor the following widget with multiple provider. So here I can simply write multiple provider and between it, first of all, we need all the providers that are under our Flutter application, but we only have one provider, which is our authentication class. So here I can simply write here change notifier provider dot value. And for the value, first of all, we will simply get the class name, which is nothing but authentication itself. All right. So once we have done that, we can move under our home page. And here upon this method, which is our flat icon button, we can configure the following button for registering the user with email and password. So here I can simply write register email and the following context will be nothing but the build context of our home page. Alrighty. So we have done everything which is necessary for configuring our provider with authentication with Firebase and Flutter. So let's test it out. But before that, we can move under our authentication class and here we can simply print out our email if it, it is working or not. So here I can simply print out the email. All right. And similarly after the signing in. So here I can simply add print email one more time. All right. So now let's test it out. So here under my email, I can simply provide here an email and similarly for password. All right. Let's open our debug console and check whether it is working or not. So here after pressing the login button, you can see we are getting the value of listen to be false. That is we need to simply add the following value of listen to false. Yes, I have explained the following result in my previous video. You should definitely check out that. But before that, I will simply give a one hint that after making the sign of listening to it false, the following provider will be simply listening to this one notifier, which is the authentication itself. So here I can simply provide it to false and similarly here to be a false itself. So here I will simply add false. All right. For my document once. Now let's test it out. And here I can simply add then method. And between this method, we can simply print out the value. So here I will simply print out the value, which is nothing but the UID. So here let's test it out one more time. All right. Clear it once. Now log in one more time. 
All right, now here you can see that we are getting a user ID with the following user ID and similarly our email. Now let's test it out on our Firebase console. So here under my Firebase console. All right, so here we have our email which is Abhishek and we have created it on today's date which is November 1 having the following user ID. Now if you check the following console, here we have similarly this user ID which is equal to our Firebase user ID which is this which is QE okay a long one I can't spell it all right so congratulations we have created our email and password authentication with the help of provider state management under our Flutter application now the next thing goes for signing in now once we have created a login for the user we can simply copy the following flat icon button paste it here and here I will simply write sign in all right and here instead of this I can simply say sign up with email now let's test it out for signing it as well. Alright, so here after pressing signing in. Alright, we are already signed in. That is the following notify user is working and we are now signed in one more time. So this was all about for today's video, which is creating our authentication with email and password for the user. Now you may observe that we have created one more landing page. Now you can simply do one thing that is create and when complete method under our flat icon button which is this when complete and under this method you can navigate the user to the next screen this should be your homework for today's video and you can simply do it using the navigator method and simply passing the value of the email which is nothing but our email data now feel free to use all of its attributes that the following user class shall be going to us which is user dot display name email token name phone number or as well as photo url now this shall be your homework for today and you have to comment out all of our things that you have did in this video also what you have learned in this video so gadgets this was all about for today and if you have loved this tutorial please like this video also comment down all of your doubts that may be occurring while implementing email authentication with provider under your Flutter application and yeah you should also connect me on my instagram where i will be posting out daily updates on what i will be posting out new videos so i will see you in the next one with another great video Till then, goodbye.